two, three. Five. Thank you. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Three. three. Thank you for 5,000 subscribers. All right, so before we go out there and feed some tegus, me and Liam are going to pack up some of last week's shirt orders. So we've got four orders going out. And Liam, why don't you show them what we're going to put, a special gift in their box. You want to hold one of those up? We're going to be putting in some free high quality stickers with every purchase. There's Crime Scene and me. And here's some of our other tegus and stickers. We're going to be adding those to the orders. So there's one order going out. All right, Liam, put put one of those, put one of each sticker in there. All right, got three stickers. Got it here. The label on there. Now this one is ready to go. We just gotta do that three more times and then we'll be heading to the post office and shipping off y'all shirts. And if you haven't had a chance to go over to the website www.rosecityreptilestx.com head on over there pick up your new Rose City Reptiles t-shirt and um, yeah there's no gimmicks they're 25 bucks shipped there's no extra fees nothing that you find out at checkout nothing like that just 25 bucks and i package them up ship them to your door and chunk in some free cool stickers so alrighty, let's get it going hello hello welcome back to another rose city reptiles videos in today's video we i realized again. <laughs> shell saying hello i realized we haven't done a feeding video in a while and today, not only are we gonna do a feeding video, but I'm gonna show you guys something a little controversial. But I'm gonna explain why it's actually not. And it's a good source of food for your tegus. And it's also convenient. That's just a plus. That's not why we do it, but it is convenient. And I've got my helper, Michelle, right here with me this morning. So, you ready to feed some tegus? Uh-huh. All right, let's get after it. So a lot of breeders feed their tegus, what I'm about to show you, but a lot of them either don't show the brands or or they don't say that they feed it. I don't know. But we are talking about dog food. You guys know that probably from the title of this video, depending on whatever I name this video. But yeah, we are feeding canned dog food to our tegus. Dog food is the most researched omnivore diet in the world and that is why that's one of the reasons why it's a suitable diet for your tegus you guys like you can feed your tegus dog food but you got to be careful we all know with dog food there is complete trash out there and there's some stuff that is a little bit more decent and then there's some stuff that acts like they're decent and they're actually trash so that's why i am going to show you the brand that I'm using today, this is not the brand that I've used forever or um, the only brand that I use, but this is a, if you're going to feed a canned dog food, this is a really affordable way to do that to give them quality. Okay. So let's look at it. I'm going to bring a can over here in the shade. I think it's probably a little bit better lighting. Hopefully you guys can see me good, but here, Shell, can you hold that? Okay. So. What we've got here, okay, so it says turkey and vegetable stew. So I know it's a weird name, but it's a good quality dog food. Turkey is the first ingredient. How it's grain you free. Open it? You pull that tab on top. What tab? That one, but we'll do that in just a second. So, so yeah, there's, let's see, we'll look at some, some of these. I'll show you the packaging. Here's the, the package it comes in. I buy it from Sam's. It's actually their brand. It's the member's mark right there on top. You see that? If it focuses, there it goes. Um, there's no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives added. Turkey's the first ingredient, like I said. Premium dog food. That was a it's good. This stuff works well. That We're going to feed it to 
Yeah, there's carrots in there. That's another thing is I went over all the ingredients before I fed it to my tayus. I understood what the ingredients were and I didn't see anything, no red flags, no nothing. They, it, this is a good, this is good. Tayus love it. Um, and for my adults, I feed them about half a can each. So, so it makes it easy to budget exactly how many I'm gonna need and things like that. And those are for a box of 24 cans, I believe it was $18 so the that's just a plus that it's affordable you know that if you have one tell you that's so cheap to feed your animal i mean you know i can feed all, i feed everything that i have right now with about one box 24 cans so um and i do that a few times a week so but yeah without further ado let's start popping some cans um for any tegus that come out and start eating we will film it and get some of these tegus on camera eating you guys can see that if they like this stuff or not um, before you decide to go out there and get some for yourself. What are you doing? I'm acting like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is one of the best tools I have. As you guys know. Yep, she is waiting for food. So we're gonna go over here. I'll show you kind of what I feed the tegus on. Today, they're gonna be hungry. Here's the F1 tribrids just chilling. They knocked their tray way back here. So that's what these grabbers are used for. Very handy when dealing with hungry tegus. So I take that, it's a little bit harder with one hand, but let's take this. I take it to the table And we're gonna clean that off. Let me get the hose. Clean off the tray. A little bit of water here. A little dirt won't hurt. All right, Shell. You ready? All right, I'm gonna open this up. Because there's two tegus in there, they get a full can. All right, you want to dump that can on here? Huh? Yeah, dump it on. And there we go. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. What do you think, Shell? Think they're going to like it? Yeah. Let's see. And these, like I said, these are the F1 tribrids. And you can see by their response, they absolutely love it. No problems transitioning over to this. I can feed it anytime and they always go for it. All right, they're fed, their water's clean. So they are good. Let's go feed some more. All right, we got some food in here with this red female. She was bred to crime scene. And we've got eggs from her. I want you watch her. <laughs> she's trying to jump for the camera. Yeah, she's very beautiful and you can see she loves I this stuff. I want you watch her when you when you uh you're gonna watch her okay look at this enclosure just completely like overgrown now but we've got our high blue girl in here eating some food All right, here's Payload right here. The female that we tried to breed with him and the high def female hanging out together. They are all dirty and they need to shed. That's the hard thing about tegus. But yeah, here they are eating together in, in harmony right now. <laughs> but you gotta watch them closely. But all of them enjoying this dog food without any problems. They love it.
Payload loves anything though, so that's not really fair. Here's Jasmine, also deep in shed, but enjoying her breakfast. And here is Ryder, enjoying her food as well. She's looking amazing after laying a nice clutch for us. We did breed her and Mako again. They produced some incredible babies last year, so hey, why not? So I can't wait to see what they produce this year. But yeah, she looks so good. All right, I know you guys want to see the plague. Everybody always wants to see the plague. And we've got his food ready. We're gonna drop it in. How about right about there? Check out this guy. He loves it. Just beautiful. Shedding a little bit right now on his head, you can see. But look how black he is. Just a beautiful Tayu. And up next, I'm going to show you another stud that we have in here that is just as impressive. Crime scene. We haven't put him on camera very much. Wow, I see him. He looks great. Let's get some food ready and then I'll show him to you guys. All right, here he is. We're filling up his water bowl. But just look at this. Leave your, leave it alone. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> he loves to bite the hose for some reason. Leave it alone, leave it, leave it alone. But here he is, I mean, Hopefully the camera's picking that up. He is so impressive. Just a huge, solid red Paraguayan red tegu. Beautiful guy. Can't wait to see his eggs. We had the female that laid eggs we showed her at the beginning of the video. So yeah, they, he's, I think he's the biggest tegu I have here. He's big, he's red, and he's crime scene. So yeah, really cool tegu, just awesome. Fun personality. He's a he's a nut, as you can see. Okay, don't leave the hose alone. He's gonna end up costing me like thirty dollars for breaking another hose. Don't do it. All right, let's get him some food, and then we'll move on to the next. So right next to crime scene is another favorite. Here is your boy Mako, looking amazing and enjoying. He loves to be sprayed down. He really likes it. So getting his getting his spray on and just kind of misting his enclosure down for the day. There he is. Alright, we're gonna get some food in there. And he will be appreciative of that. But look how pretty this guy is. Love Mako. Here's this beautiful blue albino female. We have eggs from her due to hatch soon. She's amazing and a good spot to end this video on. Hopefully we're picking up some of her colors. I'm not sure if we are, but in person, amazing. So much yellow and orange all over her body. Really smart female. I really like her. She's definitely one of my favorites. And I cannot wait to see what her, her name's Shakira by the way, what her and Topaz produce. Look at her, amazing, beautiful, beautiful girl. All right, so just to recap a little bit of what I'm saying in the video, because it's hard sometimes when I'm outside feeding Tayus to be really clear. So the point I want to get across to you guys is we got to stop bashing each other when it comes to what people are choosing to feed their Tegus. Okay, I see a lot of people just jump down people's throat if they're feeding dog food and then I see the dog food community jump down people's throat if they're feeding rats you know so like 
we've got to come together, we've got to talk, we've got to share our experiences because the goal is the health of the animal. And I think at least all of us here watching this video right now, we all have similar goals, which is let's raise healthy tegus, let's enjoy this hobby, let's enjoy these animals and give them good lives. So what the point I want to get across is dog food can be a suitable staple for your animal. There are people who feed nothing but dog food and they have extremely healthy tegus. I have personally seen a 34 year old tegu who was raised on dog food. That's, that's impressive. Now that's not enough data to say like dog food's the best. What I would like to say is the best is variety. Um, that's, that's a healthy thing to do. That's, that's, uh, I mean, that's what I choose to do. There's days where I feed whole prey, give, go out, give them chicks, rats. There's days I give dog food, my meat mix, quail, whatever. Variety is key when it comes to the tegus. But don't just write off dog food. It is a highly researched food. I mean, name another pet food that has been researched as much as dog food. But like I said in the beginning of the video, you've got to research, you've got to make sure that you're getting a good brand. Um, I shared with you guys today that, that canned dog food that I use that I buy from Sam's. I like it. The ingredients make sense to me. Um, there's nothing in there that I'm like, ooh, what's this? I don't like this. You know, I, I'm happy with it. So, so yeah, go out there, research some dog food. Um, I do like meat as the first ingredient, um, but but maybe you can get away with it not being, I don't know. And then I like grain free as well. And that's what we are feeding today. So, so don't bash people, hear them out. You know, that's what this is all about learning. Then also just the fact that dog food's so convenient. It is very convenient. Those cans of dog food probably don't expire for, I don't know. I didn't check, but I'm guessing a couple years. It is really good to have just on hand, you know, and if you're going to go on a vacation or something like that, and someone needs to feed your animal, that's probably the easiest way for them to do it. Crack open a can of dog food. That won't freak them out. They can come over and feed your, your tegus if you need them to. So that's another good reason to have some canned dog food um, just on hand. And then also, you know, an emergency, if there's a storm and you're stuck inside or, you know, no matter what that situation is. Or, you know, with Corona, if there's a shortage, you know, getting shipments in of food or things like that, it's good just to have some dog food ready to go that you can feed your tegus. So, Maybe like if you have emergency food for your family, maybe throw in a box of canned dog food for your animals as well. So that's what I do. I always have one package just kind of set aside because, you know, you never know. I actually have a few, but, but yeah, that, that doesn't hurt to have that ready as well. Thank you guys so much for watching another Rose City Reptiles video and for helping me break 5,000 subscribers. In the last video I said we're close and we busted through it this weekend, and I'm, I'm so thankful for that. 5,000, that number looks good, that's crazy. We had a little celebration, like my family, you know? We just had some good food and celebrated the work that was put into that and, and all of you guys. So thank you guys so much. 5,000 subscribers, we've also sold over 100 shirts now, which blows my mind. Every day people are going to the website and buying shirts, and. And if you've bought a shirt up to this point, they've all been shipped. So you guys all have your shirts coming to you. Um, I'm throwing stickers in with every purchase. So thank you guys so much for the support and 5,000 subscribers. And I have a little surprise for you guys. In the next video, I will announce that and show you guys kind of what we have. But, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm completely blown away from how far we've come this past year and how much work we've done it's been. An insane amount of work you guys have supported me so much like people support small businesses still and that that's incredible i try to do that you know like with where i get the t-shirts printed here locally and just different things and you guys have done that for me you guys have supported my business buying shirts and buying tegus and watching these videos and liking them so i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next rose city reptiles video bye